What's up, YouTube? It's me, my little panda. How are you? I'm so excited. Today, we're talking about my five months on OnlyFans. I know it's early. My last video I filmed on October 31st. Today is only November 22nd. It's the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Who knows how the rest of this holly, uh, holiday weekend is gonna go on my OnlyFans, so I thought, why not get out ahead of it? Um, not really skew my numbers, just having like an odd occurrence break up a week. So I decided to just do it a little early and chat with you guys and fill you in. Um, I know it's only gonna be like three weeks of new data, but I don't care. Um, so let's get into it and I will catch you up on everything that's happened so far. Um, just right after this message. If you like my videos and find them helpful and you haven't yet been verified on OnlyFans, I hope you'll consider going through my referral link when you sign up. I've created a referral package with detailed guidance covering everything from promo to content creation to dealing with some of the more technical parts of the job, like finances, taxes, organization, etc. I have also created a few video tutorials for some of the more clunky areas of the OnlyFans website and other platforms that can be unbelievably frustrating the first time through. Most importantly, I will be a constant resource for you to ask questions, share ideas, or just to vent. Helping me out with this doesn't take a dime from your earnings. You would only be allowing me to take a portion of the 20% that OnlyFans already takes out for themselves better me than them. I will share the link along with all my others in the description and I would love to hear from you. All right, time to begin. Okay, <laughs> so I have been writing my notes in like three different notebooks and I didn't know which notebook I wrote my four month notes in. So I watched my four month video to catch up on my statistics like a professional. <laughs> okay. Let's begin. OnlyFans. All right, at four months, I had 107 fans. Now, today, three weeks later, from, uh, so from October 31st to today, November 22nd. And I'm probably not gonna get this out to you today, obviously, but it'll be in the next two days. Today, 145. Mm. So excited so excited it's been a really good a really good period since since the last well even starting just before the last video it's been awesome i had 2000 likes on my only fans and now i have 2800 likes which i'm really happy about i hate it but i feel myself feeling the weight of getting more likes and by the way in my only fans bio i don't have like or even my welcome message, like uh, my automated message in uh, DMs when a new fan subscribes to me. I don't have a request to go through and like all of my content. Um, I did it for about the first six weeks, uh, maybe two months that I was on OnlyFans. So like way back in the beginning, like in the beginning of summer, I did that and I would send them like a cute little like two minute video just me kind of like dancing and bouncing around and stuff like that like nothing crazy it was like you know i was in the, a teddy um and i've since taken that down because i've got over a hundred posts like so all of the likes at this point are organic and have been since midsummer and i'm okay with it it's just slow going and it's a strategy i'm choosing it's let's burden some on my fans and stuff like that and it just makes me appreciate the growth that I have more, but it just feels like a more serious number and I'm really grateful for it. Um, Cause like I've been like playing with what I can change when you come in to view my VIP page as a prospective fan. So like I changed my banner photo, I changed my bio a little bit, things like that. Um, and I think it's helped bring in more fans than I was getting before, which I'm grateful for. You always want to be um, what's the word? Auditing that stuff so that it comes across the best and the most inviting and has high value. 
So been working on that and I'm really proud of that. So just wanted to mention it. Um, it at four months, I had 291 media. Now I have 325. I have 216 pictures compared to 199 and 109 videos compared to 92. We're getting those bids up, baby. So excited about it. <laughs> so I'm trying to do like more of my like off, like, so I do like two like big videos a week, but I'm trying to make some of my like weekly updates videos, more videos than photos as well, just because they're more engaging and more fun and show your personality more. Um, so I'm happy about that. I love those numbers. <laughs> okay, next. So I, while we're on the topic of like media and stuff like that, I mentioned in my four month video that I was trying to do more kind of daily updates, including stories, by the way, definitely post to your OnlyFans story as much as you can, because when a fan logs into their like, like logs into OnlyFans, it drops them on the homepage. And just like any other social media app, anyone with a current story, their little bubble, their circle is going to show up at the very top of the homepage. They may click on that, see your profile photo, and then click into your profile, check it out. It just kind of puts you in front of their face a little more um, and a little more quickly instead of them kind of picking someone from their memory or something like that. You might like entice them a little bit to your page that way. So I do recommend that. I'm trying to do it more myself. It's hard. It's hard because, well, anyway, you want it to be like your daily stuff and things like that. And I'm not quite as good at documenting that because those are like, you don't want to use content or media that you kind of have more curated to remain on your wall on your OnlyFans. But you do also want to be inviting people into your life and showing other sides of you via your stories. I, I certainly struggle with having enough media to do that, but I am working on it. I'm trying. I've been doing like morning selfies every day after I get out of bed. And uh, like my fans really like it. They really like, and that's kind of my aesthetic is like an alternative cutie is I guess what I'll say. And I think they like seeing like, you know, my tattooed arms, my tattooed hip, you know, my butt tattoo, like, my hair color, just kind of like a little bed raggled. Um, and so that's been like really nice, easy content. And it doesn't really matter what I look like. They find it cute and beautiful and natural. Um, so I'm grateful that I get to kind of fill in the gaps in my media in that way. And I've been doing that recently for a couple weeks now. Um, I, I have this one fan who just like fucking loves selfies, like loves them. It's his favorite form of media. So he just likes to see me in a picture, whether it's nude or not. And it's just like very endearing. And so he's kind of been the one to get me on that train and it's been successful for me so far. Um, all right. Uh, only fans percentage. I was in the top 6.5%, um, at the end of October. And now I'm in the top 6.1% which doesn't feel like much of a difference, but it seems to me like the, I guess, I guess I'd say the bigger OnlyFans creators are making more money in this, um, what's the word, uh, like rotating 30 day cycle that we use as creators. I think it's them who are making more money. And so even though I'm making more money than I ever have, it's harder for me to creep up the ladder um, so it just takes more time. I am still doing it, thank goodness, which I'm happy about. Um, my hope is actually that it's not just like those, that top handful and that it's kind of everybody below me, you know, 5.9% and lower. Okay, my total gross all time is $7,686 from three weeks ago. 
when I had just over 6,000. So 6,089 to 7,686. I'm so happy about it. It's so nice. So my net is $6,149 all time. And then 1031 to 1122, 1,649, which doesn't feel like a lot, but again, that is just three weeks and over the last 30 days I so that includes like the last week of October or you know whatever ish $2,210 which like feels really good I think that's my highest 30 day total so far I think I've passed it in the last couple days I'm so happy about it and I'm starting to realize with these updates like it's month five for me like I haven't made like tens of thousands of dollars, but I'm growing every single month and I'm really happy about it. I haven't had like any of those breakouts that other creators who share on social media or on YouTube have had, but like I'm happy to have that and avoid like a plateau and a fall off of a cliff at some point potentially because you're to have that because you had such a large spike because there is going to be a large fall that happens sometime just sometime it is going to happen and so i'm actually happy that i'm not accustomed to this huge like windfall coming in and then start to like question myself or doubt myself when things start to kind of shift downwards and the big wave starts to lessen a little bit you know and that's a completely natural thing. It's not saying that people are becoming unsuccessful and losing traction. It's a natural occurrence when you, you know, hit the top of that bell curve, you swell back down, you know what I mean? So I, I'm happy with like a low and slow increase. I'm earning, so at this point, like say I have 145 fans, that's my uh, subscription price, 10 bucks. I have 145 fans that are, say, subscribing plus renewing every month. That's $1,450 a month automatically. And then whatever I make on like customs, tip menu, things like that, tips themselves, anything like that is bonus. So that $1,400 is already covering the two bills that I would like to cover with my OnlyFans and giving me an additional six or seven hundred dollars for maybe my savings or something fun or you know a little bit of reinvestment or something like that i'm super happy with that because it's all i truly need out of the only fans and so seeing it get above like two thousand dollars is really satisfying and fulfilling because that's the that's the part that you can feel really proud of and really excited about so i'm yeah i'm super happy with it i again i know i'm just kind of chugging along essentially at the same pace but I think it's you know generally a more realistic only fans journey I don't know everyone is so different so so different it's crazy okay next ah socials that's it on the only fans okay socials YouTube from four months to now, 602 subscribers to 686. Thank you very much. I appreciate you guys. Um, not bothering with Twitter. Dude, it's like I get in the gift groups, I post, people retweet it, I lose 50 followers. Then I leave it alone for two days and I just have my pin post and I gain 75. <laughs> it's the most temperamental thing ever. So I have like, 2750 I think and last time I had somewhere around 25. I've hit 2800, 2800 by the way. I've hit that a couple times. Does I just I don't know. Instagram, I've had some really good continuous growth on there, which I'm happy about. You know I've been struggling and insecure about my Instagram. So at four months, I had 5,450 followers. Right now, I have 5,608. So I've gained 
a hundred and oh, I'm really bad at math. 140. Mm -hmm. Um, that was an ugly face. Great job. Um, but I'm really happy with that. I've been like kind of like on my OnlyFans, I've been trying to lean into the cute content a little more and then like throw in like a pretty hot post a couple times a week or something like that. And it's really fun. I think it's intriguing for people. Um, I, I post some of those like right out of bed selfies in the morning and people like them a lot. So I think I'm starting to develop my brand a little more and my personal identity a little more um, with the Instagram, which I never really thought I would. Like, it's just weird when you don't have some really, really specific big trait about you that you can cater your social media around, you know? Like, um, Kayla, for instance, on YouTube, she talks about like, getting your niche, being an athlete, but then you have to be more than just an athlete. Are you a swimmer? Are you a gymnast? Are you a runner? Things like that. And that gets you your uh, content ideas for your social medias. I just don't have anything like that. So kind of starting to dive into like the cutesy, but is she actually sexy stuff has been going good for me. So I'm really happy about that. I'm proud of it. I feel a little more, a little more secure with that. Reddit, I had 9,656 followers at four months, and now I have 11,351. Yay! I've gained almost 2,000. Woo! It's so weird. It's so weird. I gained like a thousand new followers on Reddit, like within nine or 10 days. That's kind of the time frame it takes to get every new thousand. Yeah, it feels really good. And same thing from my most recent four month video and from my very first Reddit video, I'm still not really getting like a massive number of upvotes on a lot of my posts in the different subreddits. I have some like big, like 1 million, 2 million uh, member subreddits and stuff, but it's so, it's so hard to pick up traction in those. And so I've really narrowed it down to much, much, much smaller groups. So when you have a group of, shit, 35,000 members and you get 20 upvotes, you're at the top of the page, baby. You've done it. You've succeeded. Like that is so successful of a post and I guarantee you're converting at least three fans from that. And so Reddit's been going like really well with that new strategy that I have. And it's like getting super, super niche. Excuse me, one moment. Okay. Ugh, my allergies won't go away. Okay, so Reddit has been going very super well for me. And I want to circle back to my fan count from four months to five months. So 107 to 145. I'm just so freaking happy about it. Because like, I'm using like really specific keywords for myself. You know, I'm cross-referencing like nerds and alt and like butts and alt girls and nerdy girls and petite and like just anything you can think of. Um, I'm really excited about my next Reddit video because I'm gonna dive into how to find subs. Um, so I'm not gonna go too deep into it now, but getting into a lot of subreddits that are under 150,000 members has been so helpful for me because you get into these communities that are a lot smaller and you have a lot more visibility, right? Like if you imagine a subreddit that has 2 million members and just think of how many of those members are actually creators posting on that subreddit, 
man, you just get swept away like so quickly. So someone might get on to that subreddit every single day and look through it, but just by chance, they miss your post every single time. In these smaller subreddits that really cater to you and who you are and what those potential fans are looking for, you get to be at the top of those pages for days on end. So not only say, not only when you make a new post in there, because there's the way you can view um, posts in a subreddit, you can either view them by hot, which are, you know, the most trending or new. When you post new, you may stay within the top five posts on the new structure of the subreddit for like three days. I'm not kidding. And then if you start to pick up traction because you're there on new and people flip over to that part, they see you, bumps you right over to hot. And then you're probably in hot and in the top three posts on the hot page for another three days, five days, whatever it is. Like there's this really, really tiny subreddit. It's a blue hair NSFW and it's like 16,000 members. And I can't post in it like until about eight days have passed for real. But I get good engagement on there and it's such a small pool of people that people get to see not only your hottest or newest post, but the history of that sub, man, they're gonna be able to see you as they scroll down pretty frequently, which is really cool. And it's also not going to look spammy because they're so freaking small. They're gonna see that your first post was 10 minutes ago and your last post was 10 days ago. So I just, yeah, I'm super excited for my next Reddit video. I'm gonna kind of try to like wrap that up and <laughs> pull that back because I don't wanna be chatting about it too, too long. Um, yeah, I'm super happy. I'm an average growing OnlyFans page, OnlyFans model. <laughs> Feels so good. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm super happy. I'm very fulfilled. I'm starting to see that my promo is like picking up. Um, I'm getting more friendly boosts from algorithms and stuff like that. So I'm really, really happy about it. Um, oh, I'm thinking of, so I started making notes of different YouTube comments and questions from you guys. So I think I'm gonna do a Q and A sometime soon, maybe in the next three weeks, one of my videos will probably be one, I think, because I have some questions from you guys and I'm trying to, you know, like I like, come back and answer some of them like really thoroughly for you, but then they just kind of sit there in the comments and maybe they don't get seen by that many people. So I think I'm gonna look through and do a q and I'm so excited because my, ne my next Reddit video is coming out soon and I can't wait. <laughs> I'm so excited. I think the first one was really good for anyone who chose to tune in, I think. Um, I'm really happy. OnlyFans is going really well. It's balanced well with my life. Feeling really good. No one's found out yet. Knock on wood. Just, you know, whatever. If you haven't thought about it and the consequences of it, what are you doing here? Why are you creating? Don't do it to yourself if you're not ready for that. All right, positive note to end on. Um, yeah, I'm super happy. I can't wait to talk to you guys again. I, yeah, I hope this was a fun, positive video for y'all. I will talk to you soon.